Hey guys, it's Jessica and you're watching Working Girl Dishes. Today is part two of the Healthy Girl Dishes series. So today I'm going to be making lunch slash dinner ideas. I cook in the morning because I work in the evening so I don't really cook like a normal dinner in the evening because I'm at work. So I cook all my lunch and dinners in the morning. So it's not like I have like a separate lunch and a separate dinner. Generally I eat the same thing and then take leftovers from my dinner. Anyway, just, I don't know if you cared about all of that, but that's how it works in my house. I have two recipes for you guys today. One is a broccoli and bacon mac and cheese. And yes, it is healthy and health conscious. And then I have a salsa chicken recipe, which you serve over brown rice, and it's really, really yummy. The broccoli bacon mac and cheese is a little bit of a newer recipe for me, but I made it the first time and fell in love with it, so it's definitely going to stay in my recipe book. And then the salsa chicken I've been making for probably a couple years now, and my husband loves it, so it's one of my staples that I always make. Both are very easy, both are very healthy, they're not, I wouldn't say like super uber, uber healthy, but they are health conscious, low in calories, fat. They have vegetables, fiber, protein, all those important things. So let me know if you guys tried out the recipes and how they worked out for you and if you liked them. And then don't forget to go down below and hit the subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. I will link all of those down below. And I wanted to tell you also that I write out the full recipe in the description box below. So if you just go down below, you can see the whole recipe and you can probably copy and paste and even print it out. So if that's a little bit easier for you so you don't have to rewatch my video. I will also link the first video to the series, which was healthy breakfast ideas in the info bar below. So if you wanna check that out, that would be great. All right guys, let's head over into the kitchen. You will need one and a half cups of reduced fat shredded cheddar cheese, a quarter cup of shredded Parmesan, a 12 ounce box of the pasta of your choice, two tablespoons of flour, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, eight ounces of frozen broccoli florets, one cup of the milk of your choice, I did almond milk, salt and pepper, two tablespoons of butter, and then four scallions chopped up, greens and whites separated, and then four slices of Canadian bacon Okay, into our boiling up. water, we're going to drop the pasta in. Ooh, steamy box of pasta and we'll drop that in and we're gonna cook it what the directions say so eight minutes and three minutes before it is done we're gonna drop our broccoli in to cook with it and then just make sure at the end before you drain the pasta that you reserve one cup of the cooking liquid so no big deal one cup of the cooking liquid. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt into our pasta water, cause I always do that. I am dropping the broccoli in in the last three minutes of the cooking time. I'm only doing half of this bag. And then we'll continue cooking that for three minutes. Give it a little stir. Okay, let's drain our pasta and broccoli off. Oh yes. And you can just let that sit in the sink chill out while you finish up your sauce. So in our little high walled skillet, I'm going to melt two tablespoons of butter. Okay, so in our skillet of melted butter, we're gonna add in our Canadian bacon. I'm gonna drop that right in. And we're gonna fry this up for about five minutes until it's nice and crispy. This is our yummy Canadian bacon frying. After it's all fried up for the five minutes, you're gonna, ooh, splatter, you're gonna take it out of the pan with a spoon and put it onto a paper lined plate just to drain a little bit. You're gonna leave the grease in the pan. Okay, so into our butter, we're still on medium heat. We're gonna add our scallion whites. So I'll put those right in, that pan is nice and hot. And we're gonna sprinkle in a little bit of salt and then some pepper as well. Okay, after the scallion whites have cooked for one minute, 
We're gonna add the flour, so you sprinkle it right in, and then our mustard. Whisk that in. So we're basically making what is called a roux, which is going to thicken our cheese sauce. And the mustard just gives it nice flavor and color. So you let that cook for about a minute just to kind of cook off that floury taste. Then after that cooks for a little bit, you're going to whisk in your milk. So kind of whisk a little bit while you stir it in. That'll keep it from clumping. We can always fix that later if it clumps. Don't worry. I got your back. And then you're gonna add your reserved pasta water from the pasta and the broccoli. So we add those right in. And keep it over medium heat and we're just going to whisk that for about five minutes until it's thick and creamy. So just keep cooking it. Move your whisk around to break up some of those flour pieces. Okay, so your roux or milk sauce will pretty much look just like that. We're going to add in our cheeses now. So just sprinkle them right in. And then continue cooking for a couple of minutes just to thicken it up. So both cheeses go in. The sauce is done, I turned it off. We're gonna stir in everything. So you add your pasta and your broccoli right in. My pan's gonna be a little bit full, but that is okay with me. You sprinkle in your Canadian bacon. So you put that right in. And you give that all a stir. Remember to season with salt and pepper to taste. I always like to give it a little bit of a sprinkle afterwards, just to give it some flavor and extra goodness. You're gonna top it off with your scallion greens that we reserve, so sprinkle those right on top. Here is the finished product. It comes in at under 500 calories per serving. So with the Canadian bacon and the reduced fat cheese, you still get all the flavor without all the added calories and fat. You will need one cup of the grain of your choice. I'm gonna use brown rice today. One red and one yellow bell pepper sliced up. One regular yellow onion sliced up a bunch of cilantro chopped, about one pound of chicken, I used two chicken breasts sliced up. You will need one can of black beans, a 15 ounce can rinsed and drained. One cup of the salsa of your choice, you could totally do a chipotle salsa to give it that smoky flavor if you like. Salt, pepper, olive oil, and then some coriander, ground coriander. This is totally optional if you do not have it. Okay, over medium heat in your skillet here with taller sides, you're gonna heat one tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm just gonna pour that in. And I've already had my pan heating up a little bit. Over here I have my boiling water. I'm going to cook my rice according to the package. So this is just some brown rice. You could totally use quinoa or you can even do white rice, whatever you prefer. Okay, our onions go right into the hot olive oil. And we're just gonna saute these for five minutes. We're gonna sprinkle on a little bit of salt and pepper. And, and then go ahead and place your lid on and we're gonna saute this for five minutes, stirring occasionally. Okay, and now you're gonna add your red and yellow bell pepper into the pan. Oh, lots of bell pepper. And you're gonna saute those for five minutes just to soften and with the lid off this time. So we'll just saute those around. Now our bell peppers are done cooking. We're gonna transfer all of this to a plate. So in that same skillet, and that's why I love this recipe because it's just one pan, you don't have to dirty a bunch of pans. We're gonna add one more tablespoon of olive oil to heat up. And our pan's already pretty hot, so we're good to go. On our chicken, we're just gonna sprinkle it with some salt. So nice generous amount of salt all over. And then a quarter teaspoon of coriander sprinkled all over. 
and it just gives it nice flavor. You could totally do just like regular um, like chili powder or even like a little bit of taco seasoning if you don't have coriander and you're not familiar with it. That's no big deal, you can do that. So now our chicken is going to go into our hot pan, so right in there. And try to put it in a single layer. And you're gonna toss your chicken around to brown it up. So I let some color develop on that one side, now I'm gonna toss it around. So you're gonna saute the chicken for about four to five minutes just to get nice caramelization. And then the chicken's actually gonna finish cooking in the sauce. So don't worry if it's not totally cooked when you're sauteing it, it's, it's okay. Okay, after four to five minutes, I'm going to add the black beans, just sprinkle those right in. And then one cup of jar salsa. Yeah. And I love this green salsa. It's my favorite kind. Gives it a nice tangy, zippy flavor. And then just stir that around. And then keep it on medium heat and go ahead and cover it up. And we're gonna cook that for three to four minutes or until our chicken is cooked. Okay, now that our chicken is cooked through, I'm gonna turn it off. And then you fold back in your peppers and onions. Fold those in. And then I like to top it off with some cilantro just sprinkled over the top to give it a nice flavor. If you don't like cilantro, you can totally skip this. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like all plated up. This dish comes out with a whopping 35 grams of protein and eight grams of fiber. You could finish it off with a dollop of low fat sour cream because you deserve it and it's under 500 calories. Enjoy. You shake it. Oh yeah, and you get, get a little cardio and you can move your hips around. Yeah.